We've got Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island joining us, right? Senator Reed, uh, what do you see happening right now, having followed this for the last five days? Well, it's a shocking development, but it's no surprise. The Iranian government articulated very clearly, as you pointed out, Chris, that they were going to take a military action against a military target. Uh, the critical issue at the moment is assessing the, the damage, the, the casualties. I hope there are no casualties, obviously. And then uh, the next step is to prevent an escalatory spiral that'll take both of us, both Iran and the United States, into a, a much more open and, and extended conflict. That requires either the third party or some type of back channel. Uh, but the first point is to assess the damage and also to protect our American personnel that are in Iraq. Do you think this is in our control, or do you believe that the, the Iranian forces led by the Ayatollah through the Revolutionary Guard in this action right now as we speak against the American installation in Iraq is stoppable, or is this the first round? Can we still stop what the next round's going to be? I think it's likely a, a first round, uh, and again, I, I think we're in this very, very dangerous and treacherous territory where events could be controlling um, our decision makers rather than decision makers controlling events. Uh, we could be in a situation where uh, the administration takes a retaliatory action. That prompts even more reaction from the Iranians. Again, uh, what we have to have, and I don't perceive it at the moment, is some type of uh, understanding, some type of communication, so that we do not let this situation spiral out of control. That's a possibility at the moment, and it's a very, very dire possibility. Would you like to see the president of the United States slow this thing down and call for this to slow at this point if he can? Well, I think this, it's this probably, escalation process, which began five days ago. Well, it's probably something that uh, is best done uh, not by public pronouncements by either the Ayatollah or the president, uh, but getting uh, a serious discussion uh, between elements in the in both governments that can effectively. Uh, coordinate some type of understanding or at least uh, pause so that we can see if other means rather than offensive or defensive military operations take place. Again, it's, it, it's reminiscent of so many historical episodes, but within the Cuban Missile Crisis, for example, there was the understanding that both Kennedy and Khrushchev were losing control of the situation and intermediaries stepped in and began a dialogue that led, to, fortunately, to, a, to a, a peaceful conclusion. So we've got to start a look for that. And then I think, the, again, you can't emphasize enough, we have to protect our troops, one. Two, we have to hope and make an assessment uh, that there were no casualties. That, that might provide uh, more of a justification for moderation. Uh, but this is a very, very difficult situation. Thank you so much, Jack Reed. Please